And finally from us, sort of Cinderella story. About a year ago, a 20-year-old woman called Shosna was, well, down on her luck after she was made homeless. But then her luck changed somewhat and she now finds herself on the guest list for the royal wedding at the personal invitation, no less, of Prince William. Our reporter, Harriet Prest, went to meet her. It's the invitation of the decade, a day never to forget. But what on earth's a girl to wear? For royal wedding guest Shosna, it's been a pressing concern. Shosna? Yeah. Oh, hi, lovely to meet you. Until today, you? when a couture I'm, dress I'm, designer I'm has come to her They're rescue. As you're going to be in the church as well, aren't you? Yeah. You need to have your shoulders covered. When Shosna was 18, she ended up on the streets. And it was through the homeless charity Centrepoint she first met Prince William. She never expected to be included in his big day. I wanted to go to the royal wedding anyway. Um, I was going to stand outside and cheer them on and stuff like that. So, um, And then when I got the invite, <laughs> it was like, I couldn't believe it. Like, it was um, a royal stamp on the envelope and... And then I, I was scared to open it. Dresses. Is that meant to be me? <laughs> That's meant to be you, yes. Shosna's um, just moved into her own flat. And she's now looking at a career in fashion. So today's fitting with a couture designer is another dream come true. And Reshma has offered to make her £500 dress for free. Well, she's a lovely girl and she's obviously had a really hard time. And it's, it's, you know, she's obviously really lucky to be going to the royal wedding. It's a fantastic opportunity for her. We'd all love to go to the wedding. So it's nice for me to dress her and make her look and feel her best and enjoy the event. Prince William has been the patron of Centrepoint for six years, famously sleeping rough overnight to raise awareness for the charity. He does some fantastic work with our young people and all the young people he's met have said how down to earth he is and how comfortable he makes them feel. Uh, with Shosna she met him at a fundraising event and she had to do a speech in front of 250 people uh, and he calmed her nerves before that uh, and afterwards congratulated her and said how well she did. He told me how amazing I was and, um, and then he gave me a hug and... <laughs> <laughs> and Shosna just can't believe how much her life has changed. It's changed a lot because I've gone through so much and now I'm so much happier and so much more like confident. It makes me feel like, wow, what, what, what did I do to deserve this? <laughs> a bolero is like a, just a little, small little short jacket. So now the pressure's really on. Reshma has just 14 days to create an outfit fit for a royal wedding. Harriet Prest, London Tonight, Upton Park. Finally tonight, a real-life Cinderella who is getting to go to that wedding and gets to see the outfit that will complete her transformation. We were the first to bring you the story of 20-year-old Shosna. This time last year, she was homeless in London, but she's now been personally invited to the royal wedding by Prince William. They met at an event organised by Centrepoint, the charity for homeless people. In our first report, we saw Shosna viewing sketches, offering ideas for what she'll wear. Well, today she's viewed the dress that's been designed just for her. And our reporter, Harriet Prest, went with her. Wow. It's beautiful. There's a lot to think about if you're a guest at a royal wedding. There's what to wear in your hair, then there's the shoes and the jewels, and then there's this. A bespoke 1950s style prom dress made to measure just for Shosna. It's just what I would choose for myself because it's beautiful, it's so pretty, it's so elegant and it's so, so, it's just like what I wanted, so nice. Couture designer Reshma and her team have had to work at lightning speed to create an outfit fit for a royal wedding in less than 10 days. And it's certainly been a new experience for Shosna. She's just, she's a bit overwhelmed actually with it all, but she's actually really loving it now and she's kind of got into the swing of it. And I think she's really excited to see how she looks on Friday, as we all are, to see everything kind of all together and the culmination with the dress. And I think, you know, she's just going to look amazing. And then, of course, there's the hair. And that's where the uber expensive Nikki Clark salon has stepped in and offered to create the perfect do. 
And it's a salon that's been linked with the royal family for decades. Well, it's funny you say that because we've just actually had Princess Eugenie in um, today. Obviously, I do Princess Beatrice's hair, Princess Eugenie's hair, which is, I imagine, why I got the call to do Shazna's hair. Um, you know, it comes from the top from when Nikki used to do Diana's hair. And, you know, it's exciting to kind of do it. You know, I mean, it's exciting to be involved in the wedding. You know, it's a great day for the country. And, you know, we're, we're happy to be involved. But we could have little roses here coming through. Back at Reshma's studios, the final details will now be added to the outfit, but we won't be allowed to see her in it until the day itself, just like the bride. Kate Middleton's dress, um, I didn't even like see a peak of the dress. With, with my dress, um, everyone can see it, but it's just I'm not going to wear it till the day, but her dress is a mystery. <laughs> There's still a lot of work to do, the finishing touches and a few more fittings, but we just can't wait to see Shosna in her royal wedding outfit. Harriet Prest, London Tonight.